overall we had uh, 27 species that are new to science. Um, and in addition to that, we have another 48 species that are potentially new, which means we need to we need to either collect some more specimens or do further study to determine if those are also new. Um, but there's, you know, at least 27 that are new to science. And what's really shocking is that four of those are mammals and most of those new species are vertebrates, meaning animals with a backbone. And those groups tend to be relatively well known uh, compared to things like insects. But you know, discovering so many new species of mammals and vertebrates is, you know, really incredible, especially in such a human influenced landscape as Alto Mayo. Probably my favorite of the new species discoveries is the blob headed fish. Uh, it's a type of armored catfish, but unlike its close relatives, uh, on the end of its head, it has this really huge sort of fatty and just like blob-like extension on the end of its head. And the scientists have never seen anything like this. And really, it's a complete mystery as to, to what the purpose of this um, blob head is. There was a there was this great mutual exchange of knowledge between you know the scientists that are more academically trained and the indigenous people that were able to really show us well okay here's here's some areas you know here's a part of the river or a lake where we know that there's a lot of unusual fish species that we're familiar with and you might you might not have seen before and to really guide us to the, the right places to look for for new and unusual um, creatures. Unless there's action taken now to safeguard these places and to, to help restore parts of the landscape around them and build that corridor, there's a very high chance that they won't persist in the long term into the future. Conservation International Peru has been working for more than a decade, especially with the Awahoon people, to, to come up with alternative livelihoods, sustainable livelihood opportunities, such as, um, you know, medicinal teas, um, sustainable coffee and cacao, vanilla, which is wild in Peru, um, as an alternative to things such as logging to provide income so that they, to really reduce those deforest deforestation rates and also to make agriculture more sustainable and regenerative.